So we're going with the bar on a wool coat. So we've got a nice little poodle. It feels creamy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It rinses out really easily. Now, some people don't brush out. Some people go straight in the bath. Um, some people, for example, our students, when they're doing their exams, they're timed on their bathing, so we're getting the knots out before we start. So, slicker, absolutely brilliant. So you can watch how this slicker pulls through on our lovely little Dorothy here. And it's got really nice long pins. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you, Sue. Is, it, is the longer pin better than the standard pin? I find the long pins, especially for a, if you've got a few knots and tangles, it works really well. To make sure you're not catching the skin, so you can part the fur and take a bit at a time. Can you see how I'm twisting it? Yeah. So you're not scraping it on the skin and scratching, causing slicker burn. But these are really gentle as well, so... You don't want to be doing that, but that was me digging in. And truthfully, you, you look at the uh, slicker pin for its softness because it's to do with the cushioning on the uh, cushion on the back of the pin. Yeah? yeah, yeah. And it's also just making sure it's right for this coat. So, for example, if you've got a short cocker spaniel, you wouldn't be slickering the short hair. You, I won't slicker her here. Are you helping us out though, aren't you? I want to slip her here because it's not long enough, so it's just really your furnishings 